What's going on you guys? It's me, Sinister R6, back with another video. This is a second part to my gaming memories video, well series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Link's Awakening. Um, I got this game from my almost brother and stepbrother. Um, I'm not gonna get into that. It's it's a long story. But um I had Super Wario Land and he had a link to the past. Link's Awakening. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm gonna fuck that up at least three more times in this damn video. But um he had Link's Awakening and we, we traded. I let him borrow that and then he let me borrow Link's Awakening. My mom and his dad split. So he ended up keeping my Wario Land. I was pissed about that. And I kept Link's Awakening. And at first I was like seven or eight. I'm playing and I'm, I'm just going around and cutting grass and stealing stuff. I really didn't get into the game like that at first because I didn't understand it. I'm used to playing games like Streets of Rage and Sonic and stuff at this time. So I didn't understand that too well. So, you know, going through that and not getting far and, and shit, I just ended up putting the game away and not playing it again until I was like 10. And then that's when I got really got into the game, um, going through dungeons and fighting battles and meeting characters and building relationship with these characters and getting attached to them. This is one of the first games that I've played where you actually get attached to the other characters that are around you. I never really, that's never really happened to me before. Um, so we're doing that and you know I'm, I'm meeting people on the island that I'm on I got washed up on the things and then I get to dungeon 3 and I'm still a little young to get the concept of Zelda so I got frustrated again and I put the game away and didn't play it again until I was 17 yes 17 7 years later now I'm a little older I understand Zelda a lot more no, 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 I wasn't 17. I think I was 15 because at 16 I'd be ordering their time So no, we'll wind that back 15 And I'm playing through it and I'm playing through it and I'm actually I understand it. I can you know I'm a little bit more of a puzzle solver. I, I can you know solve puzzles and do that a, little, a lot better than I was when I was younger So I'm blowing through the game it, it, and I really enjoyed the music and the boss battles and, the, you know, the music, the boss battles, and just everything about it. And we get to the end of the game and I fight Ganon. I whoop Ganon's ass. I, man, I tore his ass a new one. Because it was like, I've been playing this game for so damn long. I'm beating this game today. I'm not dying. So... I go through and I beat the game and I'm like, hell yeah, I finally beat this damn game. It's been, I've had this game since I was like six and I, at 16, damn near 10 years later, I finally beat it just to find out it was a dream. Can you tell you somebody was pissed? I was pissed. I was like, he went through all that. I took all those ass whoopings. I got killed 99 times. Because um, when you save it and when you you know turn the game off, when you turn it back on, it should kill count how many times you died in the game. I died 99 times. Probably more than that. And I was just so upset. But I, it, it, was, it meant so much to me to beat the game because I had it for so long. And I went through so much to try to beat the game. So to this day... Link's Awakening is my favorite Zelda game of all time. There's nothing topping it in my heart. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, that's it for my game memories for Link's Awakening. This is Sinister Arc 6. I'm out, and I'll be back with another game of memories soon. Peace.